Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous videos, we have been designing this home page using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And this is how it looks. We can see that we also have the animation for the loading of the page. And we also have this menu icon. And if I click on that, we have this menu displayed over here. And we can click on the close icon to close the menu. And this is also responsive. So if we decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look on smaller screens. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your blogger homepage. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, the theme that I'm using is called Notable Light, which comes by default with blogger. So if I just open this uh, website for now, this is how it looks right now. So now let's go ahead and add our design of the hero section to this blogger homepage. So for that we need to make some changes in the theme code. So let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And uh, here we need to add the code of this design. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So here I have opened the project in my VS code. And this is the code of our design. So let's add this code to our blogger theme code. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to remove this header from here. And uh, in place of this header, we need to add our current header. So let's right click over here and let's click on inspect. And let's see how this page is structured. And uh, here we can see that we have this header element. And after that, we have the other elements. So we need to replace this header tag with our design. So let's go ahead and search for the header. So I just press Command F. And if you're using Windows, you can just press Control F. And let's search for header. And here we can see we have the header. So I'll just fold it. And uh, we can just delete this header from here. Now, before deleting this, just create a backup of this code somewhere so that if you need it, you can get it back. So for now, I'll just go ahead and delete it. And now if I just go ahead and type something over here, so I'll just type h1 test and uh, let's save it. And now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see instead of the header, we have test displayed. Now we know that we are writing the code in the correct place. So let's go ahead and add our HTML over here. So let's go back to our source code and uh, this is the HTML file. So let's copy the HTML inside the body. And let's copy it till here and uh, let's paste it right here. Now here we need to make a couple of changes. So the first thing we need to do is change the SRC of this image. So right now it is set to images forward slash hero image dot PNG. Now this images folder is not there in our blogger website. So we need to upload the image somewhere and get the link and paste it over here. So I'll just upload the image in our blogger website itself. So I'll just go to the blogger dashboard. And here let's go to pages and uh, let's create a new page. And uh, I'll just title it images. We're not going to publish this page. I'll just keep it as a draft. And let's click on insert image and let's click on upload from computer. And let's click on choose files. And here we have the hero image. So let's open it. And let's select the image and let's click on select. And let's click on original size and OK. And here we have the image. So let's copy the link of the image which is inside the href. So let's copy it from here. And uh, we can go ahead and close this. And here let's add the link. I'll just paste the link over here. All right, now the next thing we will do is we will add the CSS. So let's go to a styler CSS file and let's copy the CSS from here. So I'll just copy from this line of code. We'll not change the styles of the body. And uh, let's copy it till the end. And let's paste it in the CSS section. So let's scroll up. And here we have all the CSS of the theme code. So I'll just go to the end of the CSS. Let's create a comment. And let's type custom hero section. And let's paste the CSS over here. Right now let's go back and uh, here we can see we have some styles inside the body. So we have the styles for the background color. 
and uh, we also have the font family set over here so we need to add these styles somewhere so if you go back to the html file here we can see that we have this main container division which has a class of hero container so let's add the styles of the body to this hero container so let's go back and uh, here let's search for the hero container selector and i don't think we have the hero container selector added anywhere so i'll just create the selector over here so let's tap dot hero container and let's go back and let's paste the css from here and let's paste it over here and we don't need to add the margin right now the next thing we need to do is we need to also copy the import of the fonts so let's copy this and let's paste it at the top so you can paste it at the beginning of your css as well so i'll just paste it at the beginning right so here the css is starting so i'll just paste the import over here right now the last thing we need to do is add the javascript so let's scroll down and let's go to the end of our theme code and here just before the body ends i'll just create a script tag so let's go back and let's copy the javascript so let's go to the main.js file and let's copy all this code from here and let's paste it over here right now let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and here we can see we have the hero section displayed but we have some problems in the styling so let's fix that here we can see that the text is displayed in several lines so let's right click over here and let's go to inspect and let's see what styles we have in the theme so let's scroll down and here we can see in the theme we have this style called word break and it is set to break word so we need to set it to normal and now we can see that it looks all right and uh, the menu icon is also working all right so we need to fix that so let's go back and uh, let's go to the css and let's go to the container division which is uh, hero container and here let's add the code so let's have word break normal and let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now we can say everything looks all right right now the next thing we will do is uh, when we scroll down we can see that the logo and the icon are not displayed correctly so when we scroll down we will just add a background color to this so let's do that let's go back and uh, we will add some styles when we scroll down a little bit so we'll add the styles to the nav so if you go back to the html here we can see we have this nav and in that we have the logo and the menu icon so here let's type nav dot scrolled so we will add a class called scrolled when we scroll down and we will have some styles over here so let's add a background color and uh, let's set it to rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.8 and we'll also add some blur so let's tap backdrop filter and let's set it to blur and we'll set the value to 30 pixels and let's also change the padding a little bit so right now we have a lot of padding so when we scroll down we will reduce the padding a little bit so let's right click and let's go to the inspector and uh, let's see what is the padding right now so right now the padding is set to 32 and 16 so let's go back and uh, here we will set the padding to 8 pixels and 24 pixels now when we go from the nav state to the nav scroll state we will have a smooth transition so for that let's type transition and let's set it to all 300 milliseconds ease right now the next thing we need to do is when we scroll down a little bit we need to add this scrolled class to the nav so let's go to the javascript for that and here first of all let's target the nav so let's tap const nav equals document dot query selector and uh, here let's type hero container and that we have the nav right now let's add an event listener to the window so let's tap window dot add event listener and let's listen for the scroll event and let's create an arrow function and here let's add an if condition and let's check whether the window dot 
scroll y value is greater than 300 pixels so if you scroll more than 300 pixels then we will add the scrolled class to the nav so let's tap nav dot class list dot add scrolled let's add an else and here we'll just remove the class so let's type nav dot class list dot remove scrolled right now let's save this and now let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and now let's scroll down and when we scroll down more than 300 pixels we have the scrolled class added to this nav and everything looks all right now the next thing we will do is uh, we will add this hero section only on the home page so if you go to this uh, post here also we can see that the hero section is being displayed now we want to display the hero section only on the home page so for that let's add an if condition so let's go to the html and here is our html so if you scroll down here we have the hero so we need to add this hero only on the home page so here let's tap less than b colon if and here let's add a condition and uh, let's set the condition to data colon view dot is home page and let's close the if condition after this hero division so let's type b colon if and now let's save this and let's go back to our website and uh, let's reload this page and now we can see that when we are on a post we don't have the hero section displayed but if we go back to the home page here we can see that the hero section is being displayed and in the post page we don't have the hero section displayed but here we can see that the nav doesn't look good because of this light background color so what we will do is we will remove the functionality of adding and removing the scrolled class when we scroll down when we are not on the home page and we'll permanently add the scrolled class to the nav when we are on a different page so here what we will do is uh, in the nav let's create a blogger element called b class so let's establish then b colon class now this tag is used to add class to the parent element based on a condition so here let's add the condition and the condition is going to be not the home page so let's tap not data colon view dot is home page so if this is not the home page then this condition will be true and here we need to add a name and here we need to add the class so we will add the class called scrolled so let's close this now what will happen is that if the current page is not the home page then the scrolled class will be added to the parent which is the nav and if it is the home page then this class will not be added let's scroll down and let's also remove the functionality from here so let's cut this from here and we will execute this code only if you are on the home page so here let's add an if condition so let's tap b colon if c o n d and here let's tap data colon view dot is home page and let's close the if condition over here and uh, let's create a script tag and let's paste the code over here so this code will be executed only when we are on the home page this is the code for adding and removing the scrolled class to the nav based on the scroll so let's save this right now let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and here we can see we already have this scrolled class because we are on a post page so let's go to the home page and let's add the link of the home page over here for the logo so let's copy this link from here let's go to our html and uh, here for the logo i'll just paste the link of the home page and let's save it let's go back to our website and let's reload this page and let's click on the logo and here we are on the home page now here we have a different color for the logo that's because if you go back to the inspector here we can see that in the theme it already has some color added to the visited links so we need to override this let's go back to our code 
Let's go to the CSS. And here let's type nav a colon visited. And let's copy this same color. And let's paste it over here. And let's save it. Now let's go back to our website and let's reload this page. And now we can see we have the correct color. So everything is working all right. And now you can go ahead and add your links over here. So here we have the about, blogs page, FAQs and contact. So you can create pages for these. And if you go back to the HTML, here we have the anchor tags. So you can add the links of your pages over here instead of these hashes. And you can change all of these to whatever you want. All right, so that's basically how you can add this uh, custom hero section to your blogger website. And that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.